in massive operations like changing cities or working on cities, it will be always good to make remarkable, say, buildings. Why? Be because they can guide us. Uh, so I plead enormously in that favor for what I call icons 2.0, is to have um, like museums or something like that, that that are done by star architects. That's that's an, in an interesting part. But the m more interesting is what makes, say, a building remarkable. And why? And why do we need that? Because then it can point at certain things, it can inspire people, and it can help to set a standard for, for next directions. Um, that's one of the elements. And the other thing, I think, if they're sometimes also bigger, then they can help to, to navigate ourselves uh, through this kind of monstrous and endless mediocrity that most of the cities are. I mean, imagine, say, London without that kind of elements. I don't know where to go in that way. All the, the, in the zigzag of streets, I'm lost. So it's not only a remarkability as an achievement in an intellectual way or in, in, in a societal way, it's also like a point of reference in an urbanistic way. Accepting mistakes is one of the most important uh, elements in, in, in development and, and allowing your, yourself also to experiment is probably a need to find your way in uh, de developing your city. Because if you do it like others have done, you can learn from others, that's, but Copying in the end is not, not interesting because cities need and want to be different. And I think certain kind of remarkability is what's needed because then you want to go there. And, um, and I think when you want to so it cause a trade, when you do it in a kind of specific manner. So I have a very optimistic uh, perspective uh, where I, I, I hope and I think that in the way we treat at the moment uh, our uh, our development, that there, that there might be a giant, say, middle class everywhere, anyway, and that, that uh, sorts out also in the, what you call the third world. So I would say that the third world ceases to exist as a word, and it becomes simply, uh, all becomes world. Mm -hmm.